Right, so let's see a basic a workflow using branches and RStudio and GitHub Desktop. If you're using branches, um, I do suggest you uh, tell RStudio where your Git executable is, and that will make it much easier to jump back and forth between uh, branches and, and look at your code. Uh, if you don't know how to do that, I'll post a video to that. It's really simple. Okay, so um, we've got this repository here, and I'm working on a branch here called Test. I created that by clicking this little icon here, which is here, and you can sync it with your remote if you want, or maybe you're just working locally. You don't want this on the remote. This is just for your local. It just kind of depends what you're doing. Okay, so key thing here. Okay, I'm going to go over to test. And now I'm over at test. And now I have this file called test.r that I've been working on. And you can see it's just a basic uh, plot here. And um, I can source that. You can see what it looks like. Okay, so I got that basic plot. So let's say I'm finished. I'm satisfied with that change. And I'm ready to integrate that into my main code. So let's um, go ahead and head over to GitHub Desktop. Okay. So you notice here I'm on branch test. Why is that? Well, that's because in RStudio I switched over to test, so I changed my file state to the test state, so it's going to show um, that here. And also, so, um, so let's first... Uh, see some of the features that we have. So I'm in the, the branch here, branch test, and I can click on the history tab, and then I can compare that to main. And I click, so behind, I'm not behind main, so what that means is there's not any changes on main that aren't in my branch, but my branch is ahead of main. So let's look here. So you can see these are all the changes that are on my branch that aren't on the main. So I can just kind of flick through here and say, oh, that's how that's different. That's how that's, oh, that's what was going on. Okay, great, great, great. It's all good. Okay. Okay, so now I can see the differences. And now what I'd like to do is like get these uh, changes into my main branch. There are two ways I could do this. I could create a pull request, but instead I'm just going to merge those using GitHub Desktop. So first what I have to do is I have to switch to the branch that I want to merge things into. So I want to merge things into main. So this and I say merge into the current branch. The current branch is main and I want to merge into that. So this one, it tells me here merge main into main. Well that's not what I want to do so I'm going to click here and now yes this is what I want to do. I want to merge test into main. I click that and successful. And it was successful because there are no merge conflicts. If there were merge conflicts, so like there was a file on main that was different from the file on, like I had made some recent changes on main to a same file that I was supposed to be editing on the branch, which might happen because I just accidentally forgot to switch over to my test branch before I started working that day. I've done that many times. Um, then I'd have a merge conflict and I'd have to uh, deal with that before I could to merge them. But uh, I didn't have a merge conflict. It was successful. You can see this merge here and you can see all the changes and what you can see here is so you have this merge but these are the changes down here that are coming in from the test branch. So these are all those commits that are coming in from the test. 
So now they are there in main. If I go back to our studio and now I'm in main, if I look here now, ah, now you see that test file because I merged those changes into main. I haven't pushed those up to GitHub yet. You can see there's push origin. Um, there's seven there that I haven't uh, pushed. So we can go ahead and push those. So now we're up to date there. Let's switch back over to the test and see what's going on here. So um, you can see that I need to push the changes in the branch up also. I haven't done that. Um, so I need to do that separately from the main. So there. So now I've got both my uh, branches, uh, the test branch and the main branch up to date.